Hi there, welcome to number one geek. It is I, Saz. We're back with some more Project Zomboid. As you can see, I've picked up a load of stuff which I haven't actually gone out <laughs> and sorted out yet, which is something I probably may need to do. Um, so yeah, that's that's mostly that's mostly it. We've we've kind of um, grabbed all the bits and pieces that we needed. Oh, I found two augers, by the way. Which will be quite good for hydrocrafting. Oh, I found some arrows, interestingly enough. Oh, I'm going to put these augers over here, because I know that I'm going to need them. I also seem to have got two... Oh. Didn't put that second auger down. Let me speed that up. There we go. Two augers down. Put a camping pack down there. And a camping pack down here. Right, I'm going to put this bucket outside so it can collect some water. When it starts raining, of course. Also, I can use that to fill up uh, bits and pieces. Frame square, gardening camp, etc, etc. Uh, just going to put all the stuff that I think is kind of hydrocrafted. Put power cords in there. The sacks. Another thick rope ears. Now oh, I've picked up a wood axe as well, which is quite cool. Which means it will help me because I think it work. I personally think that it works better than a normal axe for taking wood down. It takes less time to chop a tree down, and I think it doesn't get as damaged as much as well. Because I think obviously the uh, the jobs there. I'm going to put these MREs just down on the floor here. And we can just put the fishing line somewhere. That'll do. The gravel bag in there as well. The thread. The twine. Let's put the wheelbarrow outside because I'll probably end up needing it somewhere. So we'll put it here. Vitamins there. Oh, I've got a welding gas tank as well. Which I know that's part of the bits and pieces that I'll need. Take these, put them there. Boxes of nails, I'm just going to stick outside because I know I'm going to end up needing them some point soon. So I just stick them here. Okay, so I'm, I'm just generally going to go out now and try to uh, get my bits and pieces sorted. As in, when I say my bits and pieces, what I actually mean let me just put those planks down there. I don't really need those on my just yet. What I'm meaning is that I'm going to get carpentry up to... Or I'm going to try to get carpentry up to uh, level 6 at least. So I can start building the ladders. And I think by 7... By level 7, 
we should be able to do the better thing though I'm kind of thinking maybe I'm gonna start getting my base sorted having said that though as you may have noticed things are a little quiet over this side may have something to do with the fact that I made a heck of a lot of noise over by the uh, by the prison and heading towards the prison as well. well I think the best place perhaps to do some stuff is going to be the, um, the hotel because there's lots of beds there so as long as I can sort out all the monsters of a lying in wait for me. I'm just uh, going to just do with them and get on with the job. Yep. Okay. So lead pipes out. Maybe I need to go with another lead pipe. Bizarre. It's gone down a little, maybe a little bit more manageable. There we go. Attracted at least one of them. I was thinking the other day, maybe it's a matter of perspective. I was watching Ghoul King the other day and uh, noticed that he was attracting zombies left, right and centre. Almost like he had a big uh, light going over himself doing uh, buffet stuff. So I am wondering if uh, my uh, my subtle movements and quietness does actually uh, is a factor. Either way, I'm going to sneak up on this one. It's going to be a sneaky, sneaky pop, I hope. No, an immediate sneaky, sneaky pop, but one that's good enough. Right. Any bathroom zombies? No. Okay. Just want to make sure that we're completely empty. I so I start uh, de-weaponizing myself and putting my screwdriver and hammer, etc., involved. Hearing zombies. Which could mean that they're up here. Let me have a look. Oh, 
Or they could be up against the back wall. So, who knows? Ah! Crap. That scared the crap out of me, that did. He just came out of nowhere. Well, if I'm lucky, that hasn't been infected. If not, well, start again, Saz. Start again. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all these rooms first uh, and then I'll be back and hopefully I will be uh, carpentry level 6 which may mean 7, 8, yeah I'm, I need to, I'm probably need to get a book so I'll be back in a sec Right, well we've done most of it around here I've, I had to drop that down um, What I have noticed though is let me just pop my thingy back here see what we've got in this shady area. There's a hand axe there. Okay. There's a spare gas can, but I can worry about that later. Now, I think there was also, what I noticed, is one of them up here as well. So we can see what's in this room first. Let's just make sure that nothing's... Okay. Ooh, right. Welding gas tank, backyard electronics, electric tape, hot glue sticks, there's a copper pipe there. I don't know if I'm going to need that. Box of nails, cool. Bath towel, pillow, sheet, pillow. Okay, this is going to end up being like cosmetic stuff for uh, changing. Makes sense. Makes complete sense. So let's just check the main office first. Make sure that we've got. Of course, as you can see, I haven't quite got to carpentry level 6 there. I, I didn't think I was really expecting it, to be honest. Let me, uh... Let me just see if I can empty these bad boys out. Grab a lighter. Should be able to disassemble these. And should also start getting light as well soon. Just desperate to get to level six so I can at least put some stairs in, which is the next big thing. But then another nice thing is I've also got all this uh, plankage as well, which I can put into the uh, my little red thingy. How are we doing now? I'm still way far away. Okay. See that I'm suddenly hungry. On the floor, we'll just assemble those low shells. That's quite cool. Do I get any bleach here? Box of red hair colour, some hairspray. 
Well, this must be the bedroom. Which will hopefully give me some decent XP. Put that pillow down. Okay, I think we're pretty much well. I suppose. Okay, looks like that is me pretty much done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect all this wood. I'm going to take it back to base. Maybe read a magazine as well while I'm at it. Because uh, it looks like I'm getting bored. So I collect all the wood nails. And I will be back with you shortly. Okay, so I've kind of come to the realisation that something's going to have to give here. I can't... I can create a wooden wall level 2. So that's 4 there. So well, what I hopefully will do is give me the uh, the bits that I need to actually get myself up to level 6. Which also means that I, I'm also close to base to be able to read up on level 7. Which means that I can actually clear ashes. Man. Too soon, man. Too soon. So if we just keep going through down here. Hopefully we'll be... I don't want to create a window. That's the last thing you want to do. Wasn't able to get all the bits and pieces from that thing, but it's actually kind of served itself as well because it's given me the wood and the nails. That will help me at least build up my... Uh, build up my carpentry, which I always find with Hardcraft is supposed to really the one that you, you want to get going really. You want to get your base built fairly early. Not stupidly early, but fairly early. So I missed one. Come on, we can do this. We can get there. Two nine oh eight. So if I actually find out actually, actually how much that's two four eight. Oh Christ, it's forty it's forty XP each wall. So uh this might actually be worth doing, to be honest. So that's us level four. So what I want to do now is put stairs in. I need 15 planks apparently. How many planks do I have left? Six. Okay. <laughs> right. Well, I'll be back in a second, guys. I'm just going to go grab some more planks from the uh, hotel and then we'll be back to uh, getting ourselves sorted. Actually, what I might do as well while I'm doing that is I'm going to go read the book as well so that you don't have to work, spend time watching me do that. Back in a sec. Okay, so we've managed to get home safely. As you can probably see, I'm still bandaged okay, but skills-wise, we've managed to get uh, 
our carpentry level 7 at least up a little. So let's get through here and get skip on with the plan. I have to look at uh, sorting these out as well. But what I want to do is I want to put some stairs. in here now I wonder if, if I stand on here will I fall through ow maybe not but I couldn't see anything for the life of me okay What I want to do is do a floor, wooden floor, now I'd like to do them two across, simply because there's less chance of you falling off, <laughs> which if you've met me, has been known to be a problem, what I also want to do is carpentry, I want to put a fence in, put a wooden fence in there, and then hopefully, what I can do, if I've got enough in the way of sheets, craft sheet rope, Maybe I don't. Okay, so what I'll do now is I will concentrate. Actually, what I will do, as I can't see these. There we go. Let's get these walls up first. So as you can see, we're starting to make a tab, but what I want to do is also find more sheets to... Actually, do I have any more sheets in here? Did I put Kenny up? No, okay. Keep going. Okay, so that's me out of wood again. I may be overweighted here. Why am I overweighted? Because I have this sheet rope here. So what I'll do is I'll put the sheet rope up here. I may have to bundle up couple of sheet rope together so I'll just drop it here because I know that's where I want to pop it okay so I'm just going to quickly sort out my junk and then go back get some more stuff and start working on this and see where we go from there and hopefully I mean, we've got 754, we've only got out of 4,500 to go, but yeah, I don't think you want to see me do some organisation, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll go back to uh, making the uh, the wall in a bit, see in a bit. Okay, so fortunately, seeing as I was at the hotel, it allowed me to uh, pick up a crap load of sheets, so I can uh, craft sheet rope. And I should have enough. Add escape rope. There we go. There we go. So it's two sheets that I need. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to probably spend 
good portion of time here. I need seven carpentry, don't I? But what I want is... wooden floor. And to just say that if I do get attacked by zombies, I have a upright counter to uh, use guns and shoot them. Also might want to start looking at trapping as well at some point because I will need that for leathering. Not 100% sure how much wood goes for which because I didn't really look at it properly, but I'm sure quite a bit of wood's going to be going into this. I'll be chopping quite a few trees down as well. I'm not saying this is the best design, but it seems to be the design that works best for me, really. The other thing I'm going to have to do as well is start looking at making water butts. Uh, which will allow me to uh, grab a dishwasher, or a washing machine and a, a dryer. Hopefully attach them to uh, one of the rooms. I may have to do some extra work, left, right and centre. I've actually got quite a lot of uh, flooring out of this. I'm actually quite impressed. But then again, man does have a trolley of doom. That toy truck just makes your life so much easier. So yeah, the first thing, first thing I would say is if you can find a toy truck, get yourself a toy truck for hydrocrafting. Now I think there's a toy store in um, Riverside. So for easy start, that might be the place that you want to head for. I want to put some uh, stairs in. Oh, God, Jesus Christ, I did have a lot of. Uh, what is it? Maybe it's just one plank. If so, or half a plank. That hotel has literally <laughs> packed my. Uh, one of my ends, really. Who her misses? When am I going to run out? I am well impressed. Man, if I get to the end of here, I am going to be so impressed. No, no, that's the end of it. But that was a good run. you got to admit, come on, look at that. Look at all that. So, uh, pretty much doing some uh, fine, fine Hydra McAfton. Okay. So, it's food, bed. Why am I overweight? Uh, we'll put this all in the screwdriver back. That should sort it out. Yeah. Pop some of the alcohol wipes this back as well. Actually, thinking about it, how is my. Cool. Doesn't look like I've uh, had any infections or anything either, so. 
but uh, I am going to have to be a lot more careful from now on as I know that uh, the more times you get bit the more times the more chance it is that you will get infected further down the line can't keep running the gamut can you and yes I did mean gamut going to do is I'm going to grab the uh, wood axe from where I put it here. Oh, your wood axe. Oh, W won't it? Be the last one, won't it, Saz? Come on. Get your brain into gear. Okay. Oh, looks like I've still got this part to bake. I'd forgotten about that. But hey, that's all all well and good. How are we doing so far? Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. So what I might end up doing is perhaps dropping the... Uh, do what I always do. Uh, drop the toy wagon down. Get that uh, wood axe. Did I put it in here? No, I put it in the toy wagon. So, uh, equip that in both hands. The nice thing about the wood axe is it actually chops trees down better. Well, you kind of would hope so, if it, it being a wood axe. So, it's specifically designed, it only takes... Whereas the normal axe usually takes four chops, the wood axe only takes three. Which kind of makes life a little bit easier. The other reason I'm clearing this out is because it gives me a good view of where the zombies are. I don't want zombies coming out of trees right next close to my base. And I want to be able to see them from a distance. Probably all the trees there. Toy wagon. See how many logs we can fit in here. Now there is another saw. Um, I think it's a wood saw or something along those lines. I can't remember the, the exact name of it. But that will also give you extra stuff. So if you use the saw and the saw book, that particular saw and the saw book, uh, you'll actually get five uh, planks per log. Which is quite cool, I think. Let's just grab these couple of logs here. And that should do us for the moment. Mm. 
So I think if we... There we go. Make wood planks all 12. So instead of three, we're making four now using the saw, but, and as I said, if we had the other saw as well, we'd make five. So I think what I'm going to do first is uh, do with making the rest of the framework. And hope to God that no zombies come at me. Because I'll tell you that, now I'm going in no condition to fight. Food first. Running out of uh, just drinking energy drink should do us. At least for the short term. All right. So we want wooden wall frames. Let's get these babies going. Now, of course, the wooden wall frames, you, obviously this is at level 2, so you're, you can pretty much help get your carpentry up by building up your area. Obviously, the bigger the area, the tougher it is to uh, get this all sorted. Actually, what I might do is I might pop that there. Also got to uh, start doing some of the cars as well, so I can get... Um, hot wiring done, but I'll worry about that in a bit, probably off camera. Let's have a quick look how we're doing. So where are we? 1351. Okay, so we're not doing too bad. Let's about seven points. I think before, when you start getting up to level 10, I think it's about 10, 10 XP per fangy. If I can get this done, then I'm going to be fairly happy. I'm not going to close it off yet because what I want to do is I want to get my uh, maintenance up so I can move this car from this area. Don't want any cars in this area because this, this area is going to be closed off and the cars will be in the next area over. Which I may, when I'm a little bit more uh, advanced, will uh, put in a gate and a door, etc. So that we've got... Um, like a little paddock to keep the cars in which won't be as heavily defended as obviously this one. Oh, we're down right let's uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just quickly rush over and saw these these uh, these bad boys myself I know I should be using the sword, but, but we're kind of playing for time now, so I'd like to get this finished and then uh, say my goodbyes. So let's speed that up.
Apologise about the noise. It's going to happen in a second. Eh? Ooh, do you know what I didn't do? I didn't pick up the damn planks. Okay. As we're nearly done. Okay, I think what I'll say is I just did the last uh, the last piece of framework here. Is thank you very much for watching. If you like what you like, press the like button. If you dislike what you dislike, press the dislike button. But please pop something down in the comment section to let me know how I can improve my content for you. If you like what you see, why not press that subscribe button? If you super duper like it, why not press the bell icon so that you get updated every time I upload new stuff to YouTube. Uh, I also do some twitching. My um, general uh, Project Zomboid twitching is Friday. Uh, which I use the do the uh, like vanilla test uh, branch, and also I just do other stuff as well. All that matters is that I do it at ten o'clock GMT or BST British time anyway, and uh, I will see you soon. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye bye.